Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jeannie and I'm excited for today's video because we're gonna be playing with some alcohol inks from West Coast Dips. The colors I'm gonna be using today are Brilliance, which is a white powder with a blue glow and it glows bright. Just wait till you see it at the end. And I'll be pairing that with Euphoria, which is a soft pink color with beautiful baby flakes in it. Just wait till you see it. It is so gorgeous. And of course, I'll be using my West Coast Dips alcohol inks. So I've got color one, which is a pink alcohol ink. Five, which is a blue alcohol ink. And then 11, which is like a rusty orange color. Let me go ahead and get Brilliance on my nails and then we'll dip Euphoria together because it's just so pretty that you have to see it. I'll be using all West Coast dips, dip liquids, and gels as well. I do want to note that I am an ambassador for West Coast dips and some of these products were gifted to me. However, all opinions on this channel are my own and I will always share my honest feedback. Having said that, you can use code GENIE10 to save 10% on your order at any time. I'm trying to be somewhat gentle when I dust off this excess powder just because I don't want to break up any of the flakies because they're just so delicate. So moving on to my second layer, you'll see me tapping the jar against the table and that's because I want to bring more of the flakies to the top and that way I get much more flakies in my second dip. I'm gonna protect my flakies by capping and clear using West Coast Dips Crystal Clear. This is a super clear dip, so if you're in the market for a new one, I would highly recommend this one.
To ensure the clear is clear, you always want to make sure you're scrubbing it with a stiff scrub brush to get off any of the excess powder. So I'm going to do that, activate, file and buff off camera, and then I'll be back. Now that I'm all filed and buffed, I just want to show you this tool that I use for clean cuticle lines. So this is the Ergo file by Bonafide Beauty and you see that file is at that edge right there. So it just fits perfectly in that gap to create cleaner, smoother cuticle lines. So highly recommend it if you're struggling with cuticle lines. I'm going to go ahead and activate and top coat my nails that have euphoria on them just to get that out of the way and then we'll get into some marble ink art. And now for the fun part. In order for marble inks or alcohol inks, whatever you want to call them, to work best, you want to use them on a matte surface. So I'll be using my matte gel top coat. But because I don't want that top coat to peel on me, you see me applying a thin layer of gel base first before I go in and apply my matte gel top coat. So once I'm done applying my gel base, I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds. You always want to be really careful when applying matte top coat because it shows any imperfection. So you want to make sure your nails are well buffed and smooth before going in with that matte gel top coat. If you are concerned, one hack I learned is that you can go in with your glossy gel top coat first and cure that for 60 seconds and then apply your matte gel top coat on top of that. And the reason that works is because your glossy gel top coat is self-leveling. So if there are any ridges or bumps, it will cover that up before you go in with your matte gel top coat. And look at how good this matte top coat is. It is truly matte. For this mani, I'll be using all three colors of the marble inks and then I'll also be using this little dish right here for some acetone as well as the West Coast Dips gel brush. I'm going to pour a little bit of acetone into my dish and that's going to help disperse the marble inks and move them around. So starting with color one, I'm just going to give it a shake. I will note the consistency of these marble inks, alcohol inks are very watery and thin, so you want to be really careful. So I'm just going to dab that where I want my flower petals. Now it's going to look a little crazy. It's going to look too concentrated, but trust the process. Every time I'm done using a color, I want to make sure I'm closing the bottle because I do not want to spill it because that would make a big mess. So moving on to number five, the blue color, I'm just gonna make a blue flower as well. And then once I'm done dabbing the in the areas I want it, I wanna make sure my alcohol inks are dry before I move to the next step. Once my alcohol inks are dry, I'm gonna dab my brush into the acetone and I've got that paper towel under there just in case I get too much. I'm gonna dab my brush because you don't want to have your brush too wet. 
So I'm just gonna dab that into the spots where I have my marble inks and I'm just gonna disperse it to make that more watercolor look. And if I need a little more, I can re-dip my brush into the acetone. I will note that you can use either alcohol or acetone with this process. It's just that alcohol is a slower drying. So depending on the speed of which you wanna work, if you want more time, you'll use alcohol. If you're okay and you wanna move a little bit faster, I would suggest using acetone. removed too much of the blue so I'm gonna add more of the blue marble ink and I think that's the great thing about working with marble inks is that you can layer them and you can create more dimensions. And here you see my over analytical self just staring at it, trying to decide whether I'm happy with it or whether I want to mess with it more. I just can't help myself. I'm going to go through the same process on my ring finger, only I'm going to do smaller flowers so I can fit more of them on. So I'll let you watch the rest of my process. I am so sorry, but apparently I forgot to hit record when I was dispersing my inks with my acetone. So pretend you saw that. What I'm going to do next is once you're done with your inks, you want to make sure they're completely dry. If they're not dry, you will smudge them. So give it extra time. I think I waited 10 minutes just to be sure. So now I'm going in with my gel base coat. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. And because I don't really like the feel of a matte top coat, it's a texture thing for me, I'm actually gonna do glossy gel top coat.
To finish off my mani, I'm gonna be using my cuticle balm from Scales of a Mermaid, and this one is straight chillin'. This is a recent release that's an orange creamsicle scent, and let me tell you, it smells so good, and I've been obsessed with it. And here is the final look. What do you think? I had so much fun playing with these marble inks. And I love that you can do so many different designs with them. I just really wanted to start with flowers first. So tell me, have you used marble inks, alcohol inks before? And what have you done? I'd love some design ideas. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue creating content like this. And it also helps YouTube recommend me to others. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I upload content every Monday and Thursday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If there's anything you'd like to see me do that I haven't done, please feel free to drop it down below in the comments or send me a message. As always, I appreciate you being here and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.